Uh, this is the biggest corporate news of the morning. Elon Musk has been appointed to serve on Twitter's board of directors. I want to bring in David Barnson. He's our market watcher of the morning. He's got something to say about this. Can Musk have influence on, uh, on Twitter if he's restricted to owning 14.9% of the stock and he's a class two director? Does he have the influence that he wants? Uh, maybe not what he wants ultimately, but he already has had influence and he can absolutely continue to have influence. You have the CEO appears to be coddling him for the last 24 hours, retweeting yeah. this poll. They have put a, a, a foot in the ground on the whole edit button, and now here's Musk moving that needle. But I agree with Warren completely. It's not about the edit button. It's a sample of where he wants to go overhauling the company. Well, Twitter doesn't want to go in the direction of ending censorship, do they? Well, Twitter, can you share, Twitter shareholders want the stock up 25%. It's been one of the worst performing stocks in tech for six years. I don't think that people realize it's still basically at the level it was six, seven years ago when everything else is up huge. So I think that what they realize is perhaps an entire new strategy is needed and Musk clearly has been successful in generating such. You're angry at Twitter, aren't you? Uh, I'm angry at a lot of companies. Yes, and that's, that's what I want to get to because yeah. I know you're angry at Disney too. I, I mean, Explain this one. Yeah, well, look, with Disney, I think it is uh, a turning of the culture war. I, I cannot believe the pushback against Disney right now. Stuart, I've never done a boycott or, or cut off a product in my life because I generally don't believe in it. I think it's more symbolism than substance doesn't move the needle. I told my kids we're done with Disney. I can't, I can't stand it anymore. The lies about what was happening in Florida, them entering the way they did, this CEO who's supposed to be a grown-up capitulating to a bunch of 25-year-old employees all over. Look, it's fine if they have a more libertine view of sexual ethics or whatever. I don't really care. But they're trying to force this into kids, into homes, redefining the institution of family. People are not going to stand for it. It's going to hurt Disney. Well, you're livened us up this morning. Let's go. You? Let's do this. That, that's good for you. But I've got a milder subject to, yeah. to close out on. Uh, I want your dividend plays. Simon Property Group and IBM. Tell me more. Yeah, again, two examples. I have to come to you with the higher dividend names, and these are two of the higher dividends in our portfolio, both over 5%. But both are going to be growing the dividend this year. I think Simon's going to grow at about 20%. And uh, what I would point out is that every single shopping mall in the country was closed down two years ago. And here's Simon up. 300 up uh, triple since then okay they rebounded through as bad as it gets and now they're collecting 95 percent of the rents simon is a wonderful name to play a recovery and they have great assets stay there please you with me for the hour it's great to see you um what, what do you make of these oil company hearings? it's just political theory nothing comes out of it other than just what political pandering posturing uh, yeah i don't think it's even political theory i think it's political theater i hate these grandstanding moments I recall after the financial crisis, them bringing the, the big bank executives and yep. you they go did. through all this stuff and, and, and nothing comes out of it substantively. But the problem is tomorrow is going to be an exercise in economic ignorance from elected leadership in our country that don't understand where prices come from, don't understand where markets come from, don't understand laws of supply and demand. These are basic economic principles. And one of the things that I agree with everything the congressman said, I think one of the aspects we're kind of missing in it is how they want to strip capital out of this as well. Yep. And so yep. then what you have is a capital constrained industry at a time where they need to be investing more into production. And then, and of course, the regulatory environment is hurting that as well. It's a perfect storm. And it's all hurting the consumer. Let's get to Musk's stake in Twitter is appointed to the board. To correct me if I'm wrong, David, but I feel like there's cooperation between Elon Musk and Twitter. It sounds like that's it. what They've this entire strategy out. is about. Yeah. Twitter, I got to say, Twitter's handling it brilliantly because Musk was going to go scorched earth. You talk about this yeah. Stalin tweet of a couple months ago. Now they're trying to play nice in the sandbox. It's the sort of anti Carl Icahn deal where Icahn yes. has come in and gotten a brawl in the boardroom. In the boardroom, they usually lose. Mm. Okay. Now what they're saying is look, Musk is going to have his way with us. Correct. Let's bring him on the board. Board. Let's talk nice about him, calm him down. And, and I still think he can affect changes. What you want is going to happen, but okay. it's going to take a while. It's not going to happen instantly. That's my prediction. The mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, trying to convince Floridians to return to <laughs> New York. 
What do you got to say? I think he's trying to go for the culture war because they're losing the economic side. People sure. left because they wanted less tax, less regulation, and he figures, okay, this culture war issue can bring some of those more left-leaning people that went to Florida back. I think it's a losing endeavor. There's some bigger fish to fry here in New York he needs to work on. But the bottom line is toddlers in New York City <laughs> yeah. are supposed to wear a mask at school. Yes. And that is ridiculous. ridiculous. Am I right or what? It's ridiculous. It's embarrassing. It's the only thing that matters in this story. Yeah. Get the masks off the toddlers. It's child abuse. Uh, David, thank you very much for being here for the Let's hour. Start. We'll see you again real yes, soon, sure. I hope. Mm -hmm.